But I know one of your your big things is rest and recovery. So that's, and that's obviously part of, of why you keep the training short, whereas some coaches will go three hours just because they feel like, like they need to fill that space. But can you talk about that a little bit? Um, I think, uh, as I said right in the beginning, the, the, the goal in each week is to, to come to the game in um, more, phys- more mentally maybe than anything, is to be ready to play and to want to play. I think that the, the season uh, the season is long and the, it can be a real attrition, a real battle, um, especially if you're playing um, European Cup and you're playing twice a week and you never have any rest and you're always in the bus. Um, the, there's a point um, where you, you just play purely for survival. You're just trying to get through one game to get to the next one and hopefully you don't screw it up. So uh, I have in my mind that I, I want, the, when we come to the game, the guys want to play, and that's 90% of, of everything. If uh, as, soon as, as soon as guys feel, start to feel like it's work, then the, the whole mentality changes. You approach work differently than you approach play, for want of a, a better description. Um, the, other, uh, the other thing... So, so part of that, of course, is that uh, we control the load during the week, so that you don't, so that we don't uh, um, have um, uh, large amounts of fatigue during a training week, um, and so we keep it uh, we keep it uh, shorter. The second thing is that, for the most part, and there are obvious exceptions to to everything, but I I really over time I really think that you can. You can get through all the things that you need to do, need to do, in a shorter period of time. Mostly by uh, working things together, um, uh, rather than okay, now we're going to receive for 30 minutes, and then we're going to block for 30 minutes, and then we're going to spike for 30 minutes, and then you have your two and a half hours. That uh, the standard we have to spend two and a half hours in the gym, otherwise we're not practicing. Um, by putting things together, uh, you save time, uh, but also it makes the things that you do more meaningful. So um, we block against live spikers, we defend against live spikers. We, uh, when we serve and receive, we also attack. So all of those things um, uh, are logical uh, game structures, but they also provide they also provide feedback. Um, if you can't spike from a, a particular reception, that's pretty good feedback on the quality of the reception, um, et cetera, et cetera. So um, that's the, the background there. 